Welcome to AMRO Music. My name is Alan Compton, Director Services Representative and Percussion Specialist here at AMRO. Today I'm going to walk you through the process of changing and tuning a drum head on the top side or batter side of a snare drum. The first thing to do is to determine what type of drum head you would like to use as the replacement. For general use in a school setting, whether it's for use on a concert snare drum or drum set snare, you really can't go wrong with a one-ply coated head such as the Remo Coated Ambassador or the Evans Coated G1. If you're replacing a head on a drum that will be mainly used in a concert or orchestral setting, perhaps on a drum that has cable snares rather than the coiled wire snares found on most beginner level snare drums, you might consider using something with a warmer, darker tone such as the Remo Renaissance batter head or something from the Evans Strata or orchestral series. These heads, when tuned properly, can have a more sensitive response providing a well-balanced sound at a wider dynamic range. To remove the existing drum head, use a drum key to loosen each tension rod gradually in a star or radial pattern. Loosen the first tension rod, then move to the tension rod directly across the drum from the first rod and loosen it. Move over one tension rod from that spot, loosen that rod, and then move to the tension rod directly across from that one. Continue this pattern until you have loosened all of the tension rods where they can easily be turned with your fingers. Use your fingers to unscrew the tension rods the rest of the way. Loosening and tightening in this pattern will evenly decrease or increase the tension of the drum and reduce any chance of warping the drum's rim. Leaving the tension rods hanging inside the rim, lift the rim from the drum and set it aside, taking note of the exact position that the rim was sitting on the drum. Ideally, you will want to place the rim back in its original position. If you want to, you can mark this position using a bit of tape or a light concealed mark with a pen or pencil. Now that you have the head and rim off of the drum, this is a perfect opportunity to clean both the rim and the inside of the drum. Dust and other foreign particles can end up inside your drum, so it's best to take care of this while the drum is disassembled. Wipe the inside of the drum and the bearing edge, the top edge of the shell where the drum head bends downward towards the rim, with a soft cloth like a towel or an old t-shirt. You can also take this opportunity to lightly tighten any casing screws or strainer screws that may have been loosened by the drum's vibrations. Now, place the new drum head on the drum with the head's logo in the desired position. This is a question of personal preference. Some drummers like to have the logo at the front center of the head at 12 o'clock from their playing position. Others will line the logo next to the snare throw-off so they have an instant visual reference of where the throw-off is located. There is no right or wrong positioning. Once the head is in the desired position, replace the rim in the exact position that it was before you removed it with the tension rods lined up with their original casings. Insert the tension rods into the casings and tighten them with your fingers until they are as tight as you can get them with no help from a drum key. This should get the head to a good starting point of even tension before you begin tuning the head. Begin increasing the tension of the drum head one tension rod at a time in the radial or star pattern using quarter or half turns with the drum key until the drum head has an audible tone when lightly tapped with the stick or finger. This will not take much tension, so be careful not to exceed two or three half turns per tension rod. Now begin tapping the drum head with the beat of a stick, one inch away from the rim at each tension rod and listen to the pitch. The goal is to adjust the pitch of the head at each tension rod to where they all have matching pitches, thereby making the drum head in tune with itself. Using the drum key, adjust the tension of each rod until the pitches are as close to each other as possible. Now use the drum key to tighten the drum head, still using the star or radial pattern to raise the drum to the desired pitch. Once you reach your desired pitch, some fine tuning may be necessary to bring the drum back into tune with itself. Thanks for letting me walk you through the process of changing a snare batter head. Keep in mind that the mechanics of this procedure can basically apply to changing any key tuned synthetic drum head although the tuning could vary depending on the type of drum. As you can probably tell, the basic mechanics are not difficult and the tuning can become second nature with just a little practice. That's all for now. Have a musical day.